Hi guys. Um, I wanted to get real with you guys right now. Um, I guess from all the videos I made, you can kind of gather what kind of person that I am. But I just wanted to um, sit down, talk to you guys, and tell you a couple things like about the real me. Like who who is Rain? You know what I mean? So I wrote a few things down. Number one, I like to stand out in a crowd. I don't like to blend in. I'm not one of those type of people that like to blend in with the crowd and just look like everybody else. I like to stand out, be different, be noticed as uh, unique, I guess. I just like to be me. There's nobody else out there like me, so I want to showcase that is me. Um, I crave for attention. I am constantly craving for somebody to pay attention to me. Um, and I always feel like I'm screaming and screaming and nobody hears me. Nobody's really listening to me. Um, sometimes I feel broken. I feel like there are pieces of me all over the place and I can't seem to find them and I need them to be a whole. Um, I've had a lot of hurt in my life and I've had a lot of struggle and um, I've had a lot of, you know, bad luck in my life. That's why I'm always saying I got the Evans luck. It's a big cloud above my head. It follows me around. Um, uh, sometimes I feel unsuccessful. Uh, just when I think something good will happen, like something really good is going to happen to change my life for the better for me and my children. It doesn't. And I keep trying, but it doesn't. Like, for example, this whole YouTube conversion, mon demonetization thing for the small channels like that. You know, I really thought, you know, I love doing the videos. I re just really thought that someday, you know, maybe a few years down the line, it, it would actually pay off. I mean, people put money into stuff like this. You know what I mean? They hope it pays off. Um, sometimes my heart is too big, and that gets me into a lot of trouble because, um, I care about everybody. My heart's too big. I get walked on a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, if your heart's too big and you just, you believe everything everybody says, and you feel bad for them, and you'll do, and I'll give shirt off my back or someone. You know what I mean? That's, sometimes that's not a good thing. Um, some, I feel like I kind of lost myself. Um, I'm 35 years old. Like, I knew who I was, but, like, who am I now? I'm mom. I don't really do anything, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really go anywhere. I don't, I don't know. Who am I? Who am I? Um, my memory sucks. Let me tell you, I've lost a lot of stuff. I've wasted a lot of money on a lot of stuff that I bought and then just, boop, lost it. My memory sucks. I learn one new fact, something falls out the other side, like Kelly Bundy, you know what I'm saying? That's how my memory is. And it gets worse. I don't know why it gets worse. My family, number one priority to me. Always and forever. Like my entire family, you know what I mean? My children, my parents, my grandpas, my sister, my niece, my nephew, nephews. Um, I just love my family. They're, they're, they're the most important thing you guys should realize. Family always has your back. So why not always have theirs? Um, another thing, you guys probably, you know this, I'm a hoarder. I'm a big time hoarder. I can't help myself, but I've been trying really hard not to hoard lately. 
Um, I have many, many mental issues. Um, and that's nothing to be ashamed about. Like, I tell all these, I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. Who isn't? Whatever. I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Um, that's not something to be ashamed of. You know what I mean? But I do have anxiety, which is GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder, OCD, ADHD, depression, you know, and I figure that out, being a hoarder with obsessive compulsive disorder and cleaning, that's always battling. But, um, you know, some days I'm just really depressed and some days I'm not. Um, I'm a dreamer. I am definitely a dreamer, guys. Like, I dream all the time, every day of a better life for my children and for, you know, a better life. I, I, I will not settle. And, and I don't think you guys should settle either. Don't settle. There's always something to strive for. Don't settle. Be a dreamer. Go after those dreams. I go after lots of dreams. A lot of times I fail. But then I'll just find something else. Do something else. Like, if you don't succeed at this one dream that you got there's got to be something similar that you can do to get there you know what i mean i don't settle i'm very extremely sensitive i'll cry at the drop of a hat but i'm also very very fierce when i need to be um i am a hard worker i work my aunt fanny off okay like when i work i work hard um because i'm always striving towards that goal and if i don't feel like i've been productive enough in a day then that makes me sad like i have to be productive every single day at least a couple things done i hate procrastinating even though i do it all the time but i hate it you know like I, I just, I do it all the time, but I hate it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wish I wouldn't do it. But it, it's, there's so much in my mind. Sometimes it's just so hard to get everything you need to get done. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I need to feel important. I need to feel loved. And I need to feel needed. And a lot of times I don't. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, I taught myself to talk to myself you know what I mean like I know that sounds weird and it sounds kind of sad but a lot of you people probably out there talk to yourself too um and it helps because really who am I going to talk to like the kids they don't want to listen they want to play their video games and watch their YouTube and when I tell them to do something they don't listen anyway um People are busy, you know what I mean, in the household, like, I guess what I have to say isn't as important as what they're doing, I guess. I don't know. I worry about everybody and everything all the time, how somebody feels, if they're feeling sad, if they're feeling alone, if they're feeling, you know what I mean, I worry about everybody um i am extremely creative i love to paint i love to draw i love to write poetry which actually i'm in the process of writing a, a book a poetry book with um like my own illustrations behind the poems not all of them because there's a lot of them but most of them you know what i mean um, and I already have like a publishing company interested in everything so that's that's a dream I'm a dreamer, you know, and I'm doing it. I'm kooky, I'm fun, I can be exciting, um, I get excited easily, you know what I mean? I hate my ringtone. Um, you know, like sometimes, some days I'm just so happy and bebopping around and bouncing and what can I do and like, there's so many opportunities and things I can do. But which one will I do? You know what I mean? And then there's other days, you know, where I'm not as kooky and fun and as exciting. And that doesn't necessarily mean I'm boring. 
It just means I'm not up there. In the uppity levels. Kind of in the medium levels. Not the downer, but the medium. Unless I'm depressed, but... I just wanted to share a couple of things with you that you don't know. Some of you do know. But a couple of things that you don't know about me. Because I think that's important. If you're watching somebody and you're watching their life and you're watching what they're doing, you want to know things about them. You deep things about them. And those are those are deep. You know what I mean? Like uh, secretive things. You want to know a little bit of everything about them. And... Um, I figure if you're gonna watch my videos, which I hope you will, and if you're gonna subscribe, which I hope you will, now you know a little bit more about me. And you know where I'm coming from when I do the things that I do. You know what I mean? So, if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's around here somewhere, a bubble of my head. There should be a video somewhere of my latest upload around me and um don't forget leave a thumbs up if you like it and i will talk to you next time and don't forget treat each other with love because the world needs more of it trust me guys lots of love and i love you and i will talk to you next time bye